cut them to 10.2 millimeters, which is about the mark down there. Heat them with a heat gun. Five seconds. Light up the mark on the second slot. Okay. I can take the shielding away from the main cable, pull it back. All the way back. So that it's clear. We'll mark both cables about 7.6 millimeter from the edge where we strip the jacket. It's so about here. Same with the second cable. 7.6 millimeter. I'll cut that right at the mark. Same on the other one. Then mark the cable again for 5.1 millimeter, which is about that. Mark another one the same way. Strip. Same for the other one. Slide the pieces of hitch rings over. First with the quarter wrench and the hitch ring butt splice tube. And then we'll slide a one eighth piece of hitch ring over everything else. So it's three pieces of hitch rings over that. Now we'll take the small butt splice connector, stainless steel tube, it's an oval tube, put the strip end onto the one from one end, take the other cable, push it from the other side of the tube, they both will overlap, make sure they go all the way to the center insulation. Then using this crimping tool, first slot, put it in, try to crimp it, make sure both the connections are tight in there, crimp it, move the cable over a little bit, crimp it again, okay, then just give it a pull to make sure it's on there good, shielding back, slide the piece of your string over, pull the shielding back using the tweezers, make sure no shielding wire is left making a contact with the stainless steel tube. It's clear that way. Slide the hitch ring over on the center of the tube. Make sure there is no shielding wire from the other side underneath the hitch ring either. With the heat gun, Put the shielding wires back on top of the hitch ring so that they make contact with each other each from each end. Splice connector over it. Center it and then with the heat gun heat shrink it. This red ring will be become silver. And then hitch ring again. 